Hello everyone, this is Umesh. This is chapter 6, grade 8, combustion and flame. We use different kind of the fuels in various purposes at home, in industry and for running automobiles. Can you name a few fuels used in our home? Name a few fuels used in trade and industry. What fuels are used to running automobiles? Your list will contain fuel like cow dung, wood, coal, charcoal, petrol, diesel, compressed natural gas, which is CNG. So these are kind of the fuel. Fuel is the very important part of our daily life. You are familiar with the burning of a candle. What's the difference between the burning of a candle and burning of a fuel like a coal? Maybe you are able to guess right. Candle has a light while the coal has a heat. It means that candle produces light while coal doesn't. Similarly, you will find many other materials burning without a flame. Let's study. The chemical process of burning of type of flame produced during this process. Now, what is combustion? Recall the activity of burning of magnesium ribbon performed in class 7. We learned that magnesium burned to form of magnesium oxide and produced heat and light. When we burned the magnesium ribbon, we found that we produced heat and light both. We can perform a similar activity with a piece of charcoal. Hold the piece with paper of tongs and bring it near the flame of candle or a bur Bunsen burner. Actually, you know about the candle. So, Bunsen burner is a part of laboratory. So, whenever we were there, we will be do this, this activity. Now, we find the charcoals burn in air. It means that even you take charcoals near to the candle, it burn into the air. You know that the coal to burn in the air produce carbon dioxide heat and light co2 co2 is the most prominent gas after burning because whenever you burn any substance because of carbon and as we know that uh, fire can't support without oxygen so oxygen and carbon react each other and they form carbon dioxide heat is also a part of burning most of the things that you observe in your daily life, if uh, you light up a candle or you light up your you know, stove, so you observe that the heat continuously produced. So that's the uh, you know, mandatory part of the burning. Lighting, lighting, it may be uh, lighting many various types like a lighting of a candle and firework during the winter we can observe easily so those all the activities uh, when we you burn something uh, lighten and uh, co2 and heat these three components we produced now a chemical process in which a substance react with oxygen to give up heat is called combustion it has a process this is a kind of process when substance read with oxygen so this was is called combustion the substance that undergoes combustion is called the combustible and it is also called a fuel it means that the substance that support the burning is called fuel the fuel may be solid liquid and gas sometimes gas light is also given off during combustion either as a flame or as a glow in the reactions mentions about the magnesium and charcoal are combustible substance. The substance that can easily burn, there is no difficulty to burn, those substances are called combustible substance. Some substance that cannot burn easily or and uh, you know sometimes they cannot burn easily, sometimes they never burn like if you are a rock. So it's very difficult to burn a rock. Though so at such kind of substance called non-combustible substance so there are the two definitions here combustible substance that's uh, caught fire easily non-combustible that cannot caught fire easily there is an activity that you may do collect some material like straw matches sticks kerosene oil paper iron nails stone pieces glass etc 
under the supervision of your teacher try to burn each this material one by one if combustion takes place marks the material combustible if not then mark as a non combustible substance there are the so many substances are given which can easily cause fire they all are combustible which are not they are not called combustible so you can do this activity at your home at the present of your parents so be careful because uh, playing with you know fire is a very dangerous so be careful whenever you burn something can you name some more substances which are combustible you can add those table 6.1 so these table as a work for all of you children so do this okay now let us investigate conditions under the combustible takes place cash be careful while handling burning candle it's a, a you know tough job there is a candle and uh, as all we know that burning take place when oxygen present there and this experiment show that as you cover candle with a you know cardboard so you cut the supply of oxygen so the result will be candle after some time will blow off it means jo oxygen ki supply thi you reduced that supply of oxygen because of that the reaction can't take place and candle blow off wo bujh gayi so please uh, that's very important and that experiment show that any substance uh, need oxygen for burning and there is a one very fine example i'm just telling you if the people burn na so people suggest don't put water on that water mein oxygen zyada hota hai wo kya hoga burning places ko aur zyada sever kar dega that's why people say that cover the person which a uh, blanket or and put some you know sand or soil so that you should cut the supply of oxygen because fire cut easily when oxygen there we find that for combustible air is necessary the candle burn freely case when air or can into chimney from below in case b air doesn't enter the chimney below the flame flickers to produce smokes in case c finally that goes off or blow off so that's experiment is uh, represent that fire uh, need air and air means oxygen obviously is there okay by the way there is so many other gases too like nitrogen oxygen but particularly focus on oxygen because oxygen support burning so we have a root Uh, that the sun produce its own heat and light it is also some kind of combustible in sun heat and light produce nuclear reactions you will learn about this process to higher classes because uh, sun is the ultimate source of energy so nuclear classes which uh, sorry reactions which is never ended it's continuously going on now the activity 6.3 place a piece of burning wood or charcoal on iron plate or tawa tawa you know where the roti made okay cover with the glass here of tumbler or transparent plastic jar observe what happened the charcoal stop burning after something can you think of the reason why it is stop burning yes of course because we cut the supply of oxygen it means air that's why coal stop burning so children i think you understand this concept as there any problem in equations you will text me okay till today uh, that's uh, i taught you and this is uh, an example that i mention why severe burner people use blanket rather than put water in body because it cut supply of air thank you so much